I am, and this is an update on what's going on in the lab at the moment. It's summertime, students aren't here, and we take this time out to improve the facilities that we've got here. So, what's going on? We've got lots of new toys this year. Um, we do this every summer. Uh, last summer it was the mixed signal oscilloscopes, mixed domain oscilloscopes, uh, some arbitrary signal generators that we've got in to try and improve uh, your third and fourth year projects. Uh, this year it's um, assembly, we're looking at um, assembling PCBs and producing more accurate PCBs and uh, adding things like um, seal screen and eye dents to your board. So we've got in some new kit for that and we just had one piece of kit set up and ready for us which uh, we can start using and some other kit has come in so I'll take you um, for a little trip and you can look at the new toys that we got and I'll show you what we got. So then, first up, let's flip this around. We have ourselves a, uh, a rework station for SMD packages. This is primarily for your uh, BGAs, QFPs, packages, and what you're not. So um, basically, this kit contains a uh, heated bed, infrared. Uh, <coughs> Uh, soldering light, uh, prism alignment so you can look underneath your component as well as down onto the pads at the same time to get your alignment. Um, pneumatic pick and place so you don't have to touch anything and basically you can lay down chips like this onto footprints like that on these things. Fully automated reflows and temperature control monitoring, you've got cameras on the side for alignment and uh, what you're not. That's that, that was done, uh, made by Odell Rework and it's the PDR uh, rework station. Uh, other stuff, we've got some new kit going into clean rooms, uh, battery backup that's all been sorted out, servers, so if we do get a short power cut that goes. Up there, um, 3D printer, that's not the ulti uh, 3D printer or whatever it is, the ulti bot, that's the um, the, uh, well there you go, you can see on the I the Ionis or whatever it's called uh, that was based on the LT and the MakerBot and um, a third year at the time came up with the idea yeah, let's hack one apart, see how it works and we'll make a better version so that's what he's done, basically he's hacked apart one bought loads of open source stuff and he's made a better version than the LT bot so that's it, it looks the same but it actually operates a lot lot better single reel at the moment but you can get multiple heads for it if you really need to it's got all the, you know, the slots at the back for doing that so it's just adding in the extra kit so we're in the 3D print stuff now in the lab other stuff, electronics bits and bobs these two big pieces of kit down the back they've got to be commissioned and installed so that means shifting some bench spaces around here so when you start so you first is going to get second year you might be sitting in different places because we have to make room for this stuff what have we got basically a glorified pizza oven as i like to call it this is a uh, circuit board reflow oven it's the uh, gf12 hc uh, gold flow can do um, leaded and unleaded circuit boards basically you paste and populate your pcb you pull it in at that end on a conveyor belt and it goes through different heat zones one two three heated zones to do your uh, profile your brief flow profile and a fan assisted cool down as the final stage it's all fully programmable and there's an example of what a refro flow uh, profile looks like. So you've got your uh, ramp up zone, this is where you're getting your PCB up to temperature. Activation, where you start to activate your solder, you start to turn it into that liquid reflow, get it into that liquid state, all your components reflow, and then the cool down phase, where your solder typically cools down and it's cooled down at a 
you know, uh, over a particular time at a particular temperature so you don't get any cracks or joints and basically this is three chambers independent chambers one two three fully windowed so you can see everything that's going on and that has to go into a specific place because it is does need extraction on it over here this one it's a m10v uh, pick and place machine this is a fully automated pick and place machine so you can load it up with your cartridges in there with all your components your component reels tape feeders vibratory trays you can fit waffles in there and uh, yeah, you can just see the uh, one of the uh, heads there nozzles um, you get, you get multiple nozzles they're all loaded up down back down there you can just about make that out the automatic nozzle change um, down there you've got your optical alignment camera so it can align and twist the components into shape before it places them it does a component checking it's got a camera mounted onto the actual placement arm so it measures your fiducials and any eye dents and what have you and it can uh, place your components very very accurately so with that machine you can go down to um, I think it's what's it 0402 this goes down to and basically though that sort of machine that sort of setup with the oven and the pick and place it's the next step down from um, what you'd see in the PCB rework house a PCB house out there in industry that produces you know <laughs> circuit boards for the likes of um, I don't know people like Intel uh, AMD uh, Nvidia and what have you well yeah just say the rework station that we've got down there the infrared one um, these are the one that we've got in is the actual one that uh, Microsoft used over in China to fix that uh, the spinning wheel of death on your uh, Xbox uh, 360s and the uh, Xboxes and all that stuff. Exactly the same model as what we've got. It wasn't this one obviously, this one's brand new. Fresh out of the box uh, two days ago actually. I was just playing about it with it yesterday. And um, yeah. There's these kits, uh, Microsoft uh, bought about 200 of these for a company over in China to um, do all your uh, repairs on the Great Wheel of Death recall on the uh, Xboxes. So they uh, were replacing the uh, BGA uh, processors on the uh, boards. Uh, there you go. We like to keep up ahead, pick and place and reflow. This is one down from what we was using industry. This one that is what you would use and you would have that and you'd work on it anyways that's it for now other things that are coming in uh, just flip the camera back around so you can see me there we go back again um, other kit that's coming in yeah we, it's not only that that we're getting in we spent £250,000 on new equipment this is a joint bid with computer science and we're getting a shitload of that and we get access to those resources and uh, that money went also on a, um, uh, a laser ablation system for PCB in, where basically instead of milling or etching your circuit board, you use a laser to cut away and remove the excess copper off your board. So, yeah, that's another piece of kit that you got. Um, on top of that, uh, what else is it? Oh, yeah, plating system. Uh, through hole plating, getting rid of the T-Tex stuff because that was just done really unreliable now and we've binned it and now we've got a uh, LPKF um, plating system coming in that's not actually turned up and um, I'll show you it when we get it anyway, see you around